We may insert a Facebook button to recover data of the Facebook user and create a simple authentication scheme in our app. As shown in the image, the app initially shows a login button with Facebook. Note that the menu on top shows the anonymous user with no photo. Once the user taps on the button, he will be automatically redirected to Facebook for entering his credentials, and Facebook will indicate the type of information that is required by the application. In the end, once the end user has been authenticated and the data requirements of our app have been accepted, Facebook will return that data. In our example, only data from the public profile is requested, name, last name, photo, birthday, and so on. To know how this is implemented, the short answer is that we need a variable of string type based on a string, to which we set the control type property to SD Facebook button. And here we indicate the information requested from Facebook. For a more complete explanation, we will say that to implement this, we need to follow these steps. First, we declare a variable or attribute of the character or varchar type. In our case, the one called fbjson to recover the data that Facebook will return in JSON format. The second step, we insert that variable in the layout of the panel or work with for smart devices where we want to have the Facebook login button. Next, we change its control type property to SD Facebook button. With this configuration, the read permissions property will open up where we may indicate the permissions we need, which the user will have to accept upon logging in with Facebook. By default, Genexus requests public data. Also, the SDT social user data is automatically created for returning the Facebook data in a format appropriate for Genexus. Four events, which accept input parameters, are created associated with the variable. These events capture the following moments. On user info updated. This is the first event called when the user logs into Facebook. Once the connection is established, the user information is updated and made available to the developer. Then, we'll continue with the others, but we already know we're going to use this event. Then we see that we program the event, associated with the variable, to which we define this type of control. In addition, we create a variable of SDT type that had been automatically created by Genexus. This SDT will be loaded using what was returned by Facebook as a JSON, converting it from the from JSON method. There, the Facebook data we're interested in will be loaded in this structured way. So for example, to obtain the user ID, we simply keep the value returned in this element of the SDT. For the photo, profile image, for user full name, the value of this one here. The other events we mentioned are these. On user logged in is an informative event that the developer may use to update indications regarding the status of the current Facebook session. In this event, the user information has not been updated yet. On user logged out is an informative event that indicates when the user has logged out from the Facebook session. On error returns an error when something went wrong during the Facebook authentication process. Of course, you can find much more information about this in our wiki. As of upgrade 4, there is the new post-to-wall method in the Facebook external object EO.